Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing lower on Monday, pressured by shares in banks, automobiles and components and material sectors. On the economic docket, the advanced trade deficit of goods widening to $60.6 billion in May. Also, the market services PMI remaining unchanged at 51.3 in June to a pre prelim in a preliminary estimate, that is, this while the market composite PMI growing to 51.2 in its preliminary estimate in June. Decliners well ahead of advancers. 84% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now, after the market closed, IHS reporting second quarter adjusted EPS of $1.60 versus $1.38 one year ago on revenue up 6% year over year. General Electric saying it reached separate deals to sell its major GE Capital's U.S. restaurant franchise loan portfolio to three regional banks. The transaction is expected to close in the third quarter this year with transaction terms not disclosed. And Pfizer saying it will invest $350 million on a plant in China's eastern Huangzhou city. The new facility expected to be completed 2018 and will manufacture biologics or complex medicines made from living organisms and similar biosimilars. Meanwhile, keeping overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei up 0.09 percent. The Hang Seng down just about a quarter percent. China's CSI 300 up half a percent. South Korea's Kospi up just under half a percent. European markets, they are rebounding and U.S. futures calling for a positive opening to kick off the session. In terms of U.S. expectations today, Nike fourth quarter EPS seen at 48 cents on sales of approximately $8.3 billion dollars while Carnival's second quarter EPS seen at 39 cents on sales of approximately $3.7 billion. While on the U.S. economic dock at 8.30 in the morning sees first quarter GDP annualized quarter over quarter, as well as first quarter personal consumption that's expected at 2 percent. 9 o'clock a.m. sees April S&P Case-Shiller 20 City Index and 10 a.m. sees the June Consumer Confidence Index expected at 93.1. Meanwhile, shifting focus over to the markets, the S&P 500 is under pressure, according to Trading Central analysts. As long as 2024 is the resistance, look for choppy price action with a bearish bias. Short positions below 2024 are favored with targets at 1982 and 1952 in extension. Moving on the Nasdaq, that's under pressure, preferring short positions below 4270. And the Dow Jones under pressure, preferring short positions below 17,300.